here at HM. The most important thing for us is to share our knowledge, but also to try and make sure that the future of angling is bright. And there's none more important than kids. After the last time we had Tanya uh, tying a fly, it was, proved very successful. So she's come back to tie another one. So what are you going to tie for us, Tanya? I'm going to tie a Vanya. Right, you've never heard the name before. Mm. And to be honest with you, I don't think you'll have seen a fly like this before. What we've done, we've got a big hook on there, just that it makes it easier for her to... Um, Okay, keep going. That's it. Whoops, watch that point now. Okay, hold on a sec. Let... All right, all right. Don't get involved. She knows what she's doing. All right, that's it. Good. Whoa. Right, okay, that'll do. That One more, one more. Right, we're going to cut that off now. Scissors, tension. Good girl. Right. So the tail is sunburst orange, my sunburst orange, tail. I so, think it's the same one as we had before. Is it the same colour, is it? Okay. I think that one's a bit lighter. All right. Just get a big chunk because you've got a big hook there. So let's roll that round for us. Right. Do you want me to tie this in and then you can sort it out? Or are you going to tie it in? Um, Could I try, but you'd have to help me. All right, okay. Now, what I want you to do, let me show you then, and then you can do it. Hold it in that hand, right? Mm. Wait, 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 wait. And then take it up there, pinch it between your finger and thumb. Don't put any tension in this. Bring it down underneath, and when you go underneath the hook, then pull it tight. Okay? Mm. Right. Finger and thumb. Good. On, no, right tight to the hook, that's it, there. Poke it up in there, trap it in your finger. Okay, okay, come underneath, come underneath. Pull underneath. Okay, go around, a bit more. Yes. Nearly, one more. Right, let's have a look, let's have a look. I'm not sure. Right, Daddy, just do it once more, there. Right, we'll just go round a little bit more just to make sure that's tied in place. Right, okay, pull it away. Take that finger away. There's a little bit come out, but that's all right, that's okay. Right, now then, come on then. Now then, this is what she's chosen for her body. Uh, no, 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 you're not coming up yet. Oh. Keep that back by the tail, there. Right. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Look, you just caught the hook. Leave it there for a minute, do not touch. Right, now then, this is what she's chosen for body. It's like an octopus, look at it. <laughs> right, now then, gonna get that. It's got black, it's got gold. We'll just cut that one off. Beauty with this one is it's, it's on wire. So, doesn't, it's not that difficult to tie in. So, I'll just tie it in for her, and then, Right, now then, you see all that? We're going to have to tidy this up now, coming up towards the eye. So that's locked in place. Right, you can bring it back up and bring it back up to there for me, please. Come on then, quickly. This way, up to here, please. Come on, come on, that's it. Good, 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 good. Open to, not too fast. There we go, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Come on. Right, whoa, 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 now then. Right, you've got this too far away from the hook. So if we bring it back up, yeah. right, just undo that a little bit so it, you're in more control of the silk when you're tying it. Right, now then, leave that. <laughs> it's this one now. So what we're going to do, right, we take it over and under, right? And we're pushing that back when we're coming over. And because of the copper wire, if I let go, it'll stay, virtually keep the tension. So we're going to be now, no gaps whatsoever. Turn, 
Right, now then, you're going to carry on now, please. That over. Go on. That's it. Okay. I'm doing it with my right hand. I'm left-handed. Yeah, we just you have to use both hands in this one. Yeah. Right, pull it back. That's it. Good. Right down. You have to swap hands. Yeah, you have to swap hands, yes. Well, that's it. It's got to go in front every time. In front. Go on. Over. Right. Under. And it is surprising when you let the kids let loose that the different colour variations. And a lot of us fishermen, we're, we're set in our ways because, well, if you have black, you have green. Um, cat's whisker, white and green. Everything goes with everything else. Sometimes a mixture of different colours can be just what the fish want. Right, okay. Keep coming up, darling. What? Keep coming up like that, right? Like that. And last time she tied, what did you call the fly? Tamcat. Tamcat. Now... Still got it. You've, I know you've still got it. You've still got it in your fly box. And I haven't used it. <laughs> no, but I'm going to give you a little secret now. I was out fishing on Rutland and I was fishing a comp. Friendly competition. Did you use mine? No, I didn't use yours. <laughs> but somebody had watched Tanya's tying on here and he'd tied one. And he caught three or four fish and then admitted that it was on the tan cat. <laughs> Guess what? I didn't have one in the box because she had them all. So it showed me one thing, no matter how much and how long you've been fly tying, you always can learn. Right, now this is what she's chosen. This is the new stuff from Venyard, the fringe wing. Um, Normally, you'd be tying a big pike lure, a uh, saltwater lure, but she's decided she wants it as a wing. So we've got to decide, first of all, how much we want and how much, how far it's going to go over. So I reckon that's about enough for you. So this is a bit fiddly. What I want you to do is cut that off there. Please do not cut my fingers. Cut that off there. In the middle. Yes, there, please. Go on, cut. Go on. Good girl. All right. Right, I'm going to do, tie this in and then you're going to have to tidy it up, right? Yeah. And this is really difficult to tie because I'm right-handed. Going to give you a little tip here. If you're teaching someone that you're, if you're right-handed, they're left-handed, you sit this side of the vice and tie. So it's natural for you. Um, otherwise, if you're teaching someone that is left-handed and you're right-handed, it's hard for them to grasp and you to grasp. But if you're there, it's the same for them. So up there, pull down, same as we did before, right? There. Mm. I'll just tie that off there. Right, now then, what we're going to do, take that over a couple more times, please. Good, right, stop. When you're cutting this, right, yeah. you put it flat to the eye there and cut like that. Turn it round a bit, oops, that way flat to the eye and cut off and make sure you don't cut the silk hold on turn it around a bit more that you can see there just cut a bit more keep that silk out of the way for me thank you very much right okay turn that there right you're going to do the whip finish is that no is it i don't know you don't know right this is where it is um, impossible for me to do a whip finish with my left hand. So, we've got a couple of choices. We can do a couple of half hitches, or I come over here, right? And then, because this is how I naturally tie, I can actually do it, but I have to do it in reverse because she's doing it forward. I'll do it in reverse this way. Me the right, right. There we go. Where's the scissors, please? Thank you very much. 
Uh, that up there. Yeah, in right. <laughs> Cut that out of the way. Well, what do you think? Orange tail, blue head, black body, gold. Is that going to catch fish? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to take a fishing? Yeah. So just remember, let your kids and the vice, if you're tying, put one next to you and let them have a go and get them into this wonderful sport.